Time for the...
Hello? Anybody there? Damien sent me. Hello? What do you want? Damien sent me. He said you have work here. Wrong address, bud. But I just talked to him. Damien, he sent me here. You alone? Yeah, I'm alone. You better be. Now get in and head downstairs. They'll explain everything. Why are you still here? I'm Aiden. Damien sent me. I'm uh, here for the job. Right. So... You're new around here. Damien asked that too. What difference does it make? Boss asked a question. Now, I'm still trying to figure out why I'm here. Yeah, you're the one dancing around the subject. Okay. 
Let's talk about the job then. To do it, it's best that you're not all that well known around the bazaar. Well, I wouldn't say I'm all that well known. That's good. That's very good. Looks like we finally found our missing person. Wait, what are you talking about? What do you want from me? Let's just say we work for someone that's dying to meet you. Except he won't be the one dying, I don't think. <laughs> Call him in, boys. <laughs> That's so right. Die? God, you asshole! You set me up! What? No, no, no! I, I swear, I, I would never! I, I was just doing my job! Scouting! It's my job! Who are these people? And why were they looking for me? I don't know, Aiden! You gotta believe me! Please! They just told me to send them anyone who seemed new. They didn't tell me why. I don't have any other choice but to do as they say. They have anything to do with Lucas's death. What? No. I mean... God, I... I hope not. 
That would be terrible. But I swear, I don't know. So you've sent others before me, and, and then they've all been murdered? God, what have you done, Damien? I didn't know at first, but I couldn't do anything about it once I found out. I couldn't. How many, Damien? How many people have you sent to their death? Stop it, Aiden, stop. I'm sorry. I had to. I'm trapped. Believe me, they have my brother. That's no reason. You're complicit. Carl's gonna hear about this. You idiot. You don't understand. If you do this, they'll kill my brother. I can't let that happen. I feel your pain, but this is wrong. You can't gamble innocent lives away just to get him back. You're through, Damien. Ah! <sighs> What's going on here? Hello, I'm Henkel. This student here was curious about my lesson today, about when the guns were confiscated in Villador, and what happened afterwards. He wants to light a candle on the site of the March Massacre. Why can't he? No one can leave the building while school is in session. Children shouldn't walk around the bazaar on their own. Hmm. I thought you'd be more worried about them falling into a dark zone. Oh, kids nowadays are too smart to fall into a silly hole. Anyway, could you light a candle for him, young man? You might learn something yourself. Sure, though I was pretty lousy at history. History is boring when someone tells you about it. It starts being fascinating when you can touch it. Touch it? Yes. Take this candle and go to the monument of the World Art Congress. Or what's left of it. It's close by. Contact me when you get there. You'll see what my lesson was about today. Bet I got plenty you could use.
How's the leg? Uh, no better. But it'll heal. Eventually. Oh, fantastic. Something wrong? I had a chance to meet the bandits you mentioned before. They said that you'd plan on cheating Dodger after all. Okay. The cat's out of the bag. But look, it was only gonna be just this once. Dodger would never find out. Why would you steal from a man who's giving you work? Look, I... I'm living by the skin of my teeth here. I thought just this once I'd pretend he gave me a bum lead and take the whole stash. Maybe get a little ahead for once. And the bandits? I figured an ambush would sell the story better. Didn't expect them to turn on me. But then, I'm an idiot, aren't I? Seems like it. Trusting a group of thugs like them? That's what you get for being greedy. I wasn't being greedy. Just... Just desperate. Now I got a busted leg and don't know when I can work again. Uh, what happened to them anyway? Now well, they tried to kill me, but didn't. Whew. Uh, and, and the goods? Did you reach them? I got everything. I'm begging you, don't tell Dodger. If you do, you'll ruin me. Please. T take what you have to him. Tell him I'll be back in business as soon as my leg heals. I'll think it over. Come on, man. Without work, I'll starve. I, I won't even think about doing it again. I, I swear. Don't make me laugh. You think I'd take your word for anything after this? Uh, believe me, I, I learned my lesson. I'll never do anything like that again. We'll see.
Aiden, what you got for me? I found these filters for one. Mm, okay, not setting my world on fire, but I can move those for a nice profit. How about these? A bottle of cognac and a box of cigars. Now that's what I'm talking about. You see? I knew there'd be something valuable at that military base. You see that, Urban? Can I sniff out the good shit or what? <laughs> Kick ass. Uh, speaking of asses, what was Hubie's deal? Is he trying to duck out on me? Hubert was gonna steal from you. He fucking what? I was gonna say you'd given him a bum lead and take the goods for himself. Hired a gang to make the story more believable, but they turned on him. They broke his leg. You don't say. <laughs> You're one cold bastard. I like you. <laughs> what? And half-assed Hubie. Well, you know what they say. Trust in God. But break your camel's legs, just in case. Good and tag. What? Hey, this psycho works for you? Well... Two solutions are better than one. You wanted to kill me? No, who said anything about killing? I just told Klaus to get the loot. He can be a little overeager at times. You jackass! Oh, come on, don't pout. Look at Klaus. He's not mad about you killing his friends. It's natural selection. You proved yourself stronger than them. You came in handy after all. I didn't know how to get to Hubi, but then you showed up. I waited until you were gone, and paid him a visit. What did you do to him? He was in terrible pain because of that broken leg. So I broke the other one. For balance. That's what happens when you try to screw Dodger. I guess, but isn't that a bit extreme? Well... He won't be gazelling across the rooftops anymore, but he's still got a shot at a pro arm wrestling career. But he insisted that I turn the stash over to you. So, once a cheat, always a cheat. Duralex said Lex. The times we live in are ruthless, and the law must be so too. He's already learned his lesson. He said he wouldn't do it again. Right. Any idea how many people half-assed has conned? People who are also just trying to get by. Who have families to feed. He's been asking for trouble for a long time. He got what he deserved. And he won't scam anyone ever again. Remember, rules are rules. With the whole world collapsing, we need them more than ever. Without them, we'd be no better than a pack of rats. Did you call this following the rules? Your rules? He won't get away with this. Carl will hear the whole story. Carl? He won't dare touch me. I know too much about him. I know too much about everyone. Even Lucas respected me. 
Who do you think is behind his death? Barney? Sophie? <laughs> Barney and Sophie are just a pair of kids playing in a sandbox that's too big for them. On the other hand, they are really fucked up. You never know what might pop up in their heads. I know one thing, though. Curiosity killed the cat. Thanks for your concern, but I don't need it. Feisty, I like it. I saw the potential in you from the start. But I had to figure out who I'm really dealing with. Next time, find yourself another patsy. Feisty, I like it. We'll meet again, Aiden. Sophie, you wanted to see me? I've been hearing about you. Good or bad things? Useful things. The ones that make me believe it's worth giving you a chance. What are you proposing? Go to one of the craftmasters, Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need a few for a certain transaction. Fine. I'll go talk to one of those craftmasters. They're in the bazaar. 
do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. What were you even thinking? I've never seen someone botch a job so badly in my life. I thought I could trust them. Can you hear yourself at all? Easy for you to say. You weren't there. And I regret that very much. I'd have killed the bastards on the spot. Do you believe that? Sophie has interacted with people who are are infested with alpha zombies. Is that true? I wonder what the hell is going on in the central loop since PK's restricted access. Some say the renegades are... Back in the day, I had a huge and massive... Well... And... A workshop, Dad. Yes! A workshop! So where is it? You're not in one now, Alberto.
Hey, Hankel, I'm at the monument. You were right. Not much left of it. Good. Look closely. There is much more to it than meets the eye. Inhibitor container detected. Get him! Now! <laughs> There's a plaque here. Oof, a lot of names on it. Are those the victims of a massacre? Yes, 64 names. Things were starting to get pretty bad outside the walls around then, and the army needed more weapons. So they confiscated the civilians' weapons. Private ownership of any sort of firearm and its ammunition was forbidden thereafter. What happened here? That is where the riots started. People were terrified. How could they protect themselves and their families? There was massive unrest. So, a curfew was put in place. And homes were raided to ensure no one was hiding any weapons. Punishment for those who didn't comply was quite severe.
were fired. The army started shooting at people. Panic broke out. And of course, things only got worse. The riots escalated. It was the beginning of the end. <laughs> Light the candle. Inhibitor container detected. So you're saying that Pratt made a bad call, taking people's guns away? Hard to know for sure, but he didn't end well for anyone. In fact, the main irony <laughs> is that the army soon ran out of ammunition. And just like that, firearms became obsolete. At least, that's what's generally believed to have happened. Now you'll hear some folks claim that Pratt kept a secret stash of ammunition somewhere in the city. But if so, he took that secret to the grave. So I guess... We'll never really know. And that's the thing about history. We rarely ever really know. It's not a hard science. History is fragile as the passing of time. It takes the vigilance of people like myself to make sure it's not rewritten to suit the whim of each new generation's self-righteous fight. The duty of remembrance. Everyone should practice it. Farewell now, Pilgrim. I hope this little trip down memory lane has illuminated your path. Runners built these windmills. Sweet weapon you got there, Aiden. Is it new? Stay away from the chemicals, bro. Ship will burn you to the bone. <clears throat> My sister found some weird tapes inside an abandoned building the other day. Kind of audio diary from people before the fall.
get what you need. How may I help you? You ain't kidding around. Come back later. Apparently you can't go through the tunnel either. Aider's keeping us prisoners in our own homes. Sophie has interesting people working for her. Like a pilgrim, apparently. Don't trust the peacekeepers. <clears throat> Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals? Oh, for fox! <laughs> They've already sent one of their... F fuckwits? Who? That fellow! <laughs> Sophie's brother! Huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. The asshole's name is Barney. And he asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals. Yeah, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred... Uh, 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 a hundred and twenty... Uh, uh, a hundred and... Uh, uh, Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro. There's a big sign. Fashion store. And a windmill on the other side of the street. Uh, thanks. No one has better man good Well, what did you find? I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about it already. Herman! See if Barney turned on his radio. Barney? Answer me. Barney! So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own. And throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. 
No. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time, he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago, either. A fucking kid. I'll kill him. I'll just kill him. How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me! Damn it all to hell! If he went to a dark zone in his condition, he's a goner. I can try to track him down. <sighs> you? I've been in the dark zone before. In the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? If you save him, you won't regret it. We still have some time. Barney will likely wait till dusk. Going into a dark zone during the day is suicide. Just bring him back home safe. I'll do my best. Good luck.
Take your pick. I got it all. We have a deal. That's right. Aim high. Come back from time to time. Yeah! <laughs> 
I smacked him with my baseball bat. I need to fucking uh, get this shit fucking uh, modded or something to fucking keep it. Oh, I got some wind.
Sophie, Taden, I found a radio, and a body, male, white, bald man. I'm sorry, Sophie. That's not Barney. That's Kodak, one of ours. Barney can't be far.
Sophie, I found blood. It's fresh. Hurry, Aiden. Barney, are you? Hey, Sophie sent me. <clears throat> Barney, open up. Sophie, I found Barney, but he's locked himself in a room. He's alive. Good. I'll stop the fucker. Just try and talk to him. I'll try. Barney! Come out, or I'll drag you out myself. Barney, I'll count to three. One. some air. Your sister mentioned you're stubborn. She didn't say you were an idiot. Hey, I should beat you down for that. Here, take your radio. We're leaving. No, Bertie. We gotta find Bertie. Who? He lured away the infected when they were about to get me down there. If not for him, I'd have ended up like Kojak. You're in no condition to look for anyone. He's just a kid, man. I promised this old lady I'd bring him back, understand? He drew those bastards to himself, you get it? So I could grab the crystals for the bazaar. I have to find him. You're in no condition to search for anyone, Barney. I'm not going back without him. Where can I find him? He was on the ground floor when those assholes surrounded me. They ran out after him through the side door. Okay, you stay here and wait for my signal. I'll find your friend and then come back for you, got it? Hurry! Blood. 
Must be birdies. Trash should lead me to him.
Who are you? A maiden. Can you move? Barney sent me. Barney? <coughs> of course. Good old Barney. <coughs> he made it out, right? He got the crystals? Uh, yeah, he did. Well, thanks to you, kid. <coughs> I pulled it off. <coughs> Killed three infected. Did you see? Well, two were wounded already, but... <coughs> Listen, it's my birthday today, uh, and can I ask a favor? You see, uh, over there, my radio, I have to call someone. Here, but we gotta hurry. Of course, of course. Uh, I just gotta, hello? Mom? <coughs> you there? Mom? It's all good, Mom. We're almost... Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney! He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen. We got them. The crystals. We got them. And I killed three. Three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the hell out and get back here safe! Barney promised! Sure. Soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. Nathan, what's going on? Nathan? Nathan! <sighs> Barney, you there? Barney? Aiden, are you there? Yeah, I'm just trying to reach your brother. Barney's here already. Just arrived. He... what? He was supposed to... I didn't trust you. He thought you wanted to take the crystals. But he sent me to check on his friend so he could sneak away? It's not like that. Come back to the bazaar. I'll explain everything. Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? You again. What are you doing? Spying on me? 
You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim, and they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me, that it? You don't know shit about me, my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you, so go bother her. We have to kill them, Carl. They used to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Sophie. Uh, Relax, Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Uh, interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? That spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar, but Carl threw them out for pulling scams, and now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. What are you going to do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're going to pay off Jack and Joe. And they're going to keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits, and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance.
up. survivors. Fucking animals. Find the crystals. Susie had them. Susie? Carl. They, they took Carl. What? Where? their camp. We, we must... Susie? Susie, where are the crystals? Susie? Sophie, I found Susie. She's dead. I can't believe it. First Birdie, now her. Damn. Damn. Damn! There's nothing you could have done. No. Except that I sent them there. Joe's men have kidnapped Carl. And I don't see these crystals. Fuck! Fuck! What? The goon! Huge, ugly motherfucker! He's slow. Just be careful. Search the other bodies, Aiden. Maybe the crystals are still there.
Everything's been taken. Probably took him before you got there. Everything has gone wrong. All right. Enough of the playing game. Let's meet by Jack and Joe's camp by the overpass. We're gonna go after Carl. Appreciate it, but don't get your hopes up. Not the marrying kind. Learn anything about the commander's murder? I heard Sophie's brother mention something about Lucas's death. That's all so far. Now they have a bigger problem. The bandits you mentioned? They took Carl hostage. Ah, oh, shit. <sighs> exactly. We're helping Sophie get him back. Good. Gain her trust. That might also help us find out what they know. Just watch out. They might be suspicious, but if you can do it, Ator will let us into the center.
Hey, Herman. Where's Sophie? Hey, why were you on the mission? Friends could have used you. Okay. I guess that means I should wait here. Joe will pay for what they did. I had a bad feeling about it from the start. I had a feeling Carl's plan sucked, and yet I let him lead. All right, so what's the plan now? From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought a pilgrim like you was supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Barney, shut up! What? If he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party. Not a wake. In case you change your mind. He can be a real pain in the ass. But we'll do something good for the city one day. To your health. If you manage to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. You think killing Monsieur Cock and Cunt will change something? Death usually changes a lot in a person's life. Carl was wrong. We should have gone after them right away. But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. Besides, I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph, Susie, Logan, Birdie, they deserve revenge. And Jack and Joe sentenced them to death. So they'll die. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Hey, Tor here. Leave, but make sure no one sees you. You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. 
I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. Now. It's about saving your life. I'll tear them apart. I swear. I'll gut them. Wheels. What do you want? I don't like what's going on here, Aiden. First Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people. Now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate. You're not a part of that, are you? But you said you wanted me to get close to them. I'm gonna search Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. They may suspect you of being a PK spy. You came here just to warn me? You helped me with the Lazarus. And I take care of my allies. Sophie's just fighting for water, that's all. I don't think she suspects anything. <laughs> you think so? She hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar. And for her mother's death. So when we start questioning her people, you better be careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel for our investigation? Sophie's also wondering who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. Keep me informed where you are. Be careful. Go help Sophie, but be careful, Aiden. Go help Sophie. Thank you. 